probably 97% of the men that we told that we were fighting the highway department, fighting a highway, they would all say, oh, my God. I mean, that's crazy. Don't, what are you doing? When you, that's just stupid. Your money away, right. And something like 97% of the women that we told that to said, oh, wow, that away, you know, good for you. It's really funny, but uh, I think it has to do with how men and women are raised. Men, you know, at least the time when we were being raised, uh, women didn't study business. You know, you went into other things, and uh, you weren't brought up to really, I mean, you could be, you were practical, but you didn't think about it in a business sense. So you tended to do whatever you felt personally, you know, emotionally about, passionate about. And men are, were raised to be very businesslike and linear. Yeah, you know, whatever made sense in a business way. And to fight the Texas Highway Department was, Nuts. when you think about it, it was stupid. Mm -hmm. it was but if you don't know you can't do something, you often do it. Mm -hmm. You know, you do the absolute impossible thing because you don't know it's right. impossible. And I think women, at least of our generation, have had that as an advantage. There always, you some, there's, there's always somebody who's happy to tell you what you need to do with your property. <laughs> I guess we'll always run into that. Yeah. I never know why they assume you don't know your own property. Mm -hmm. But we've had lots of experience along then, that line. And then there are those who we know every day who make their living off this land, and it has nothing to do with a human being except that we're the ones who wreck things. Uh, they, uh, every animal that's supposed to be here, every insect and everything else, this is a living, breathing thing. They're the ones that own the property. They live off of it. They're the ones. And we, you know, we just do what we do, and we mess things up, and, and uh, we run them off out of their homes. And I, have, I do know that when you develop land, those animals don't go next door. They die. There's already somebody next door. But, uh, but they're the ones that are living off the land. You know, even a farmer uh, or, you know, uh, who's raising crops, um, there's still bugs and little yeah. animals that are living off the land and would be dead if it wasn't here. So we have to preserve open space. And um, there's so little of it left now. Texas mm -hmm. is really under the gun. It's a shame. Yeah, when it went from a a rural state to an urban state and it's within our lifetime I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's that's so many places that were that were beautiful that don't oh, even yeah. exist anymore. Mm -hmm. They're covered with <coughs> concrete and, and, and asphalt. When, yeah and when you come from a city you don't know that and you haven't experienced it and it doesn't you know mean a lot and a lot of people who move out here are from the city and, and, you, and you would you know wonder what right. is it. But when you've grown up in the country uh, we grew up in West Texas, but it was a tiny town, so it was basically the country. You appreciate it, and you see it in a different way. I don't know if you... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that have moved in that are very nice, and then there are a lot of people who've moved that just want it just like the city. We've sat behind people at meetings. I remember that older woman who said, when are you going to get street lights out here? Like, oh. I don't know why they just why did you buy come? in the city. If you, you need light, out? stay in the city. <laughs> and dogs and cats running, you know, lots Terror. of that. Right. Lots of that. It and is. and um, people who just don't understand. Yeah, well you, you can't keep up that steady thing. And so the nice thing about having three people, there's always someone who has the energy at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe one is totally washed out at the moment and somebody's in between. So you you re revolve back and forth. Right. Yeah, you do reach that every so often. You oh, think, oh yeah. what the heck? Yeah, why am I doing this? But then you think this about it and there's all the history behind it. Or you could be living in, in an apartment in San Antonio. Yeah, you could. Which I be believe be might bad. be hell. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. <laughs> so we no, know, in the we end, know it's we're lucky. It. Yeah. It's it's terrible but we're lucky. <laughs> yeah.